brothers and sisters. Get back on bail! Get back on bail! So, anyone who can help, so anyone who can help, please join. Please join. So we can make the place pristine. So we can make the place pristine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are, we have a live here, here in about two minutes or so, and I just wanted to extend to you guys the opportunity to talk to us. I have nothing to say. We can do about you. Okay, sure. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. It's got bleach in it too, so be careful. That there was kind of a ring fence in it. You know, I mean, I've, I've come in here and said I have no pretense of objectivity. And then I hear, you know, don't talk to the, uh, the media. I look around, I'm the only one drawing stuff out yeah. of the notebook. I, I just thought that was a little off putting. I mean, yeah. No, I can certainly understand that. I think that when people use that word the media, yeah. I think. There's actually a lot of love for the sort of smaller uh, outlets, but when you start talking about really big, big uh, corporations that have consolidated media, um, like not just Fox, but MSNBC and uh, CNN, they feel like those are those kinds of outlets are more interested in sensationalism and often sort of undermine the sort of people that are we're trying to represent here or at least that are represented here well I so mean, what do you think about i mean you just mentioned msnbc i mean do you have a a, a bigger microphone than rachel maddow or keith Olbermann? 
<laughs> you know, I'm not really, that's a, that's a good question. I mean, I, I think there's something really powerful about what we're doing here. I mean, these, these encampments are symbols of something much larger, you know, and, and I think that we're all still trying to wrap our heads around what that is exactly. are going to make their own the way, right. the way yeah the way I see it but if we have it as a rule and it's a um, sort of a statement like that we are like a belief something that they can see on the, the website to say that you know it is a you know it is free will but this we do not support people having these items I think that's already a statement is that it's even yeah. 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 I mean obviously it hasn't been enforced but I mean, it's not, it's not to be enforced, you know, we're not enforcing, we're not enforcing things on each other. Right? Well, I mean, that's what it is. There are some undercovers that came walking through. People, like, I fought to take their badge off down, and I, they had a couple walking talking in their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, come on. And it's like one of those big ones. I was like, come on. Like, you know, it'll, 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 Alright, good luck in your nice building. And as soon as they got there, that went that went out the window. They started like targeting the medics, like pushing them away. Like there was one guy, you know, my wife was talking about this in another interview. There was one guy who like needed his inhaler and we knew it. And we have been like getting donated like extra inhalers and stuff because there are people that, you know, obviously some of these people are displaced or have medical care. Um, so we try to take care of some of those needs and we knew this guy needed his inhaler and he was having an asthma attack and the we were trying to rush over to him my, my wife was trying to rush over to him to give him this inhaler and the cops like threw her out of the way they're like no they're like you need to get back you need to get back she's like this man needs medical attention and they're like you need to get back like they wouldn't listen to like anything so I mean Speci and specifically from that point on, they started targeting the medics and uh, sort of corralling us and make sure, making sure we couldn't treat anyone, making sure none of the people there got any kind of medical attention. They also didn't, you know, 
the city's resources didn't give anyone any kind of medical attention either. They were just beating people and then hauling them away. Even though there was EMS guys there, they weren't doing anything. They were standing around. And um, so they were targeting the medics and they were targeting the veterans specifically. They were like, because there was veterans for peace there and they're like, we're here. The first thing they went for, right when they came into the line, was they tore down the veterans for peace flags. They broke the stakes. They broke the flags. They, you know, they were they were beating those guys with batons and stuff. There's video and of it. Too. There's video. Oh, there's, there's lots video. of video. Fleeting at times. Um, we're sleeping under tarps. Uh, I mean, granted, I have an air mattress, which is nice, but a tent would be wonderful. We have had a lot of people going, "Oh my God, you guys, are, you guys got your shit together." <laughs> I mean, you're for, for as young as you are, I really do think you've taken cues from what's happened in New York City and tried to do your best. Uh, you know, like. I, I don't really have a lot of an idea of what's going on down here, but also you don't have a ridiculously old, obsolete, ineffective mask law. <laughs> can I just throw that out there in the realm of Of course you can. <laughs> yes, the because it's illegal for three or more people to do this yes. in public in New York City. Because of a law that was written in 1847. Yeah. So far, nothing's really conflicted, so everybody's just here for their own thing, and I'm here for anything. How long have you guys been here? I've, I've been here for like a week. A week? How's yeah. it going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got here this morning. I, I moved from Washington day. State uh, yesterday. I, oh, wow! Well. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm like... Kidding. Just came to hang out. <laughs> right? I was like, well, I live on the East Coast now. I might as well go down to Boston since it's an hour away and figure out what this whole Occupy thing is about. Sweet. And, right? I'm awesome. mostly down here for the experience and to meet the people because I was I haven't met anybody I didn't like here. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. There's this whole thing about this whole, oh, Massachusetts full of mass holes. And I'm like, <laughs> I have only met awesome people so far. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, and then there's, he has two numbers. 
I think uh, he won't answer this one, and then he will answer this one right now in business hours. That's like his actual courier line. And if um, you saw him occupy Boston, he needs to help today. Yep. And he will, he's down. He will rally the troops. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna forego a shower and just leave at like 12.30. <laughs> nice. um, Hello, Adam. Andrew, or is it Andrew? Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Renee from with Occupy Boston. Oh, Adam. Uh, I got your uh, I got your number from uh, uh, Eric. Eric. About helping out with bike career stuff. So. About, about helping with bike career stuff. So. Uh, we need help like pretty much all day. Yeah, did you hear about what happened last night? Yeah, so we're, we're trying to get stuff together. Really easy. You don't happen to know anyone else that might have something. I see. Okay. Yes, you get call me right back. Thank you, Adam. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Come Watch your back. Watch your back. Go to your side. Go to your side. I think here today, well, we have 120 different people. Do you happen to know if there was a medic out there last night in Korea? Yeah. Hey, everybody get to the GA. Come up front, sit in a circle. We're going to have a fun conversation. Subjects are. Tactics. Action yesterday. Please action last night. All information. It's exceptionally welcome. Do you have a medical chance? I have medical knowledge, but I, a little bit of like first aid medical knowledge, but I'm not really sure. A lot of my a lot of my protest friends are that are designing. Let me go. Let me find some stuff to have. <laughs> So we'll uh, take the TV and put it in storage or whatever, and TV. it'll become useful somewhere, sometime. Yes. Sounds fair to me. I'm gonna take a nice little extra credit photo of the, <laughs> the nice bins that my friend Josh brought down, so oh, I can give him. Oh, those are nice crack. bins. Aren't those nice? He those just pulled up and. Wow, good old Josh. Right? He's a good boy. He said, "What do you need?" I'm gonna pop down to the GA now. He brought me bins and gauze and fix it at. Well, I'm just trying to keep the killing recycling, and I'm also trying to bring it down to the other end. Yeah. But it's been really hard because people don't know sort of the difference, so yeah. you try to educate them. But if you put something dirty out, like then they will, um, then they'll think it's just garbage. Just throwing trash, yeah. And what it is is those things, I'm trying to say, Hands so that periodically people can see their butts or the really disgusting garbage in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully, if you want to make signs even that said that, I've got a peanut butter jar that I'm going to wash out and off. Um, occasionally I pick things out, but I save them for myself. I don't use them for the general population. Yeah. But I'm trying to keep this really clean. And this is yeah. in the compost. So no problem. It's going to be important for the park. Oh yeah. Um, this box is pretty terrible, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe like papers can go in it or something. I don't know. But I am trying to. You know, if we do have recycling, it's got to be kept clean, type thing. Yeah. But I'll try and get you. I'm actually looking for tins 
like coffee tins to that, would, that would be perfect for bus, yeah. For bus. It's yeah. less of a fire hazard too. I mean, I, I was yeah. trying to you put them out, but put some stone in there or some water. Yeah. And that on the But do you? Uh, let me ask. Do we have any um, um, neck braces? Um, just a sec. Please. Are you working? Uh, okay. And. Am I of the correct impression that like, there's a lot of stuff here? There's a lot of stuff that we need or that we have? Yeah, you have that uh, is available. Like, for example, yeah. I love rubbing alcohol. Is there a bottle of rubbing alcohol? Um, I haven't seen rubbing alcohol. I've seen Wait, more like... Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. Isopropyl. Yeah. I haven't seen any in the stuff we've been arranging out here. You can ask them. I see there's a lot of hand sanitizer. May I look through there and see? Yeah, go ahead. I think that you know what's up. Or worse yet, listen to Sean Hanley or Bill O'Reilly. Oh, God. Jeez. These guys wouldn't get out of the makeup chair to come down here and yeah. see what's going on. Put on more makeup so I look good on camera. Hey, yeah. look, I look like a bum. Guess what? I'm not doing something. Yeah. I know, actually, if you think about it, we're here fighting for them, too. Yeah, he's why are you carrying that? Like everybody else. What? Why are you carrying that? Because I'm damn proud to be a veteran for peace. So am I. And I don't like the idea of our people getting busted up last night by a bunch of cowardly cops. So I took this one home and I'm the only when one do you down stay here. stay at Court Street? Huh? You stay at Court Street? Court Street? Yeah, do you stay at Court Street? No. Where, where are you from? Roslindale. Roslindale? Yeah, I came up from Roslindale. So am I. You go to West Roxbury? Occasionally. You go to J Mostly Jamaica Plain. You go to JP? Yep. You get services from the government? Yep. I earned them. Yeah, you earned them. I got the carrier flag. Oh, yes, I did. I don't know who the hell you are. This is really our time to really, really, when I say change, I don't mean policy change. I don't mean a uh, new program. I mean new vision entirely. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm figuring out my thing right now, and you know everyone's going to figure out their own thing, but we're, at least we're here together and talking about it. So uh, come join us. It was called a mortgage fraud thing, and they, it, it had these people, they were paying these people $10 an hour to just sign mortgages absolutely as fast as they could. Robo signing, right? Yeah, and, and they were pretending to be uh, vice presidents of banks or something. They weren't. I mean, this is the kind of lying that corporate America is doing. And the reason they do it is because they can make, they, they tell the lies that make people happy. And in my opinion, like the lie that, that started that attitude is Christmas.